In our last video, we have discussed what is OSI model and what are the functions of each layer. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is the TCP IP model and what is the functions of each layer available in TCP IP model. With that, we are also going to understand what is the differences between TCP IP model and the OSI model. Where we use OSI model and where do we use the TCP IP model. Each and everything we are going to learn in this particular one video. So watch this video till the end. Hello friends, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. Let's the tech begin. For understanding the TCP IP model, you have to understand the OSI model. OSI stands for Open System Interconnection Model. This model tells you how data travels in a network in complete details theoretically. Take a note guys, this OSI model tells you how data travels in a network in complete detail theoretically. OSI model helps you to understand the network in more better way. So this particular one model that is OSI model does not follow by the networking device in practical scenario. Okay. In practical scenario, whenever a PC try to send a data to another computer, they actually do not follow the OSI model. This model actually tells you how data travels in a network theoretically in more detail so that a student can understand it better way. The actual model devices follows in a network is the TCP IP model. TCP IP stands for Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol. This model tells you how data travels in a network practically. So in practical scenario how data travels in a network is well explained by TCP IP model. Whenever we transfer data from one computer to another the actual model it follows is the TCP IP model. I hope the differences between OSI model and TCP IP model is clear. Anyhow, if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section below. Now before continuing to this tutorial, I would like to request you, please watch my previous video that is based on OSI model where I have explained you all the seven layers in complete details. If you do not understand the OSI model, it is not possible for you to understand the TCP IP model. As we know that in OSI model we have 7 layers that is physical layer, data link layer, network, transport, session, presentation and the application layer. These are the 7 layers of OSI model. Same like this in TCP IP model we are having layers. Okay. And the first layer of TCP IP model is the application layer. This particular one layer is the combination of top three layer of OSI model that is application layer, presentation layer and session layer. Whatever task we perform in this three layer of OSI model, all of this per, all of this task performed by this single application layer of TCP IP model. Okay. All of this task will perform by this single TCP IP model layer that is application layer. Now next layer is transport layer. So whatever task performed by this transport layer, same task will perform by this transport layer in TCP IP model. Same like this, the next layer is network layer. Here network layer we also called as internet layer. Whatever task performed by the network layer in OSI model, same task will perform by this network layer in TCP IP model. Again next layer is network interface layer. So again this layer is combination of two layer in OSI model that is data link layer and physical layer. So whatever task performed by these two layers, okay, all of this task performed by this single layer of TCP IP model. I hope the concept is clear. See the work is same. Same work is done by the OSI model and TCP IP model. But OSI model explained you the work of data flow in more better way but practically we use TCP IP model in a network whatever networking device we use in a network it actual follow the TCP IP model done one more thing guys this is a old structure of TCP IP model recently Cisco has updated the TCP IP model and now we have total five 
layers that is application layer transport layer network layer data link layer physical layer so this is the updated chart of tcp ip model so now if anybody asks you how many layers do we have in tcp ip model then you have to give this particular one answer we have five layers in tcp ip model that is application layer transport layer network layer data link layer and the physical layer now its task will be same see here the three layers right application presentation and session layer whatever task performed by these three layers same task will perform by this single application layer okay and all the task will be same like transport layer network layer data link layer physical layer all the task will be same here also okay whatever task performed by osi model same task will perform by this layer of tcp ip model done guys now let's go forward and let's understand what all protocols works under which layer of osi model before that let's understand how tcp ip model helps one computer to send the data to another computer as we know that in every network we have one sender and one receiver and on both this side we have the five layers of tcp ip model on the center side the data follow from the application layer towards the physical layer okay so guys as we know that this application layer in tcp ip model is the combination of three layers in osi model that is application presentation and session so whatever task performed by that three layers whatever protocol works under that particular three layers all of the protocol are going to work under this particular single layer the protocol such as smtp pop3 ssl netbios etc and with that it also include the functions such as encryption compression building the session translation all of this task performed by this single application layer of tcp ip model now once all of the task is completed it is going to forward the data to the transport layer in transport layer the data get converted into segments and this layer is responsible for end to end data delivery whatever data you are sending transport layer take care of it so that data will reach to your destination successfully done in transport layer the data get converted into segments once the data get converted into segments it is going to forward it to the network layer in network layer it is going to add the source and the destination ip address okay network layer is going to add the source and the destination ip address and convert the segments into packets done and then forward it to the data link layer in data link layer it is going to add the source and destination mac address that is the physical address done source and destination mac address and convert the packets into frame and forward it to the physical layer this physical layer is going to convert the data into binary bits that is 0 1 1 0 this language and then forward it to the receiver side physical layer this physical layer now everything will happen in a reverse way this physical layer is going to forward the data to this data link layer here data get converted to frame it is going to forward it to the network layer here frame get converted into packets again it is going to forward it to the transport layer it is going to forward it to the application layer and once the data reaches to the application layer the user can easily read the data so same like osi model even tcp ip model is doing the same job okay there is no differences at all the difference is only the number of layers in osi model we have seven layers in tcp ip model we have only five layers this is the only difference but functions and the way data travels is absolutely same now let's go forward and understand what all protocols what all devices works on which layer of tcp ip model this is a very important chart guys and here i have explained you all the five layers of tcp ip model its protocols and its devices i will recommend you to post this video for few minutes and take a note of it because it is going to help you for the lifetime whether you are going to attend the interview or you are going to write this CCNA exam everywhere this chart is going to work okay so post this video for a few minutes and take a note of it so guys finally we have learned what exactly the TCP IP model is now it's time for the surprise test 
Before surprise test, I would like to request you, please pause this video for few seconds and please give this video a big thumbs up. Do subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon with that. Also download our networking plus Android application available on Google Play Store. Now let's continue to the surprise test. In this test, I am going to ask you few important questions from the video itself and you have to give the correct answer in the comment section below and let's see who is able to pass this surprise test. And our today's question is, how many layers do we have in TCP IP model? Write to protocol that works under transport layer of TCP IP model. And the last question is, point to point protocol and address resolution protocol works under which layer of TCP IP model? Tell me this answer in the comment section below and let's see who is past this surprise test.